we have some people still trickling in. Hi, Jessica. Nice to meet you. Transfer Junior, majoring in psychology with a minor in early childhood education. Wonderful. Okay, let's see here. Welcome, everyone. My name is Amy. Like I said, I am an advisor here at the DePaul Career Center. I'm here to walk you all through these slides um, and to answer any questions that you have about the upcoming career fair. I'm also taking general questions throughout. So if you have any questions about me, about the Career Center, um, we are more than happy to be a source of support for you moving forward. So without further ado, let us get started. Um, welcome to the Career Fair Prep Week Workshop. This is basically walking everybody through what a career fair is, what to expect, and how to set yourself up for success. Keep a close eye on the chat as I am going to be dropping links and wisdom throughout, as well as continuing to admit people. There's a lot of stuff going on on my end, um, so I appreciate your patience. Thank you to everyone who introduced themselves in the chat. I would love if you would continue to do so. It helps me to tailor um, this presentation specifically to the people who are here. All righty, so I'm going to start by a quick uh, explanation of what a career is. Um, quickly in the chat, who here has been to a career fair before? You can also react with like a thumbs up or thumbs down. Um, I know that Zoom lets you do that. Has anyone been to a career fair before? getting some shakes. Yeah, I'm getting some thumbs up. Okay, cool. We have a we have a mix here. Um, but just as a refresher for those of you who already know, and an introduction for those of you who do not, a career fair is an event that gives students and employers a chance to meet one another, establish professional relationships, and discuss potential job and or internship opportunities. Career fairs happen all the time in lots of different sectors. The DePaul Career Fair is exciting because people um, and companies are looking to specifically connect with you all, um, DePaul students or DePaul alumni. Um, employers attend for a variety of reasons. Um, of course, they promote current openings, uh, connect with future candidates, that's you guys. Um, they can also conduct like quick screening interviews on the fly and uh, build their employer brand on campus. One reason that people come to a career fair from an employer perspective is because they're specifically looking for people like you. Um, so a major purpose is actually to promote themselves as a company to candidates like yourselves, um, which is a perspective that not a lot of people recognize, especially if they're coming from a job search standpoint. So it's a great place to um, kind of have the upper hand almost in terms of navigating the job search market. Here is a reel that we're gonna watch. or ISAP for short, we're the state's financial aid agency. But in my division, we do outreach. So I hire new college grads every single year to work in their own communities to help more teenagers figure out their path to and through higher education. My name's Kyle Worker. I work on our recruiting team at Origami Risk. We're a software and service company that focuses on risk management and insurance software products. And our headquarters here in Chicago. My advice to the fall students is to get out there early and get, get, meet as many people as you can and network. I know it's a different world that we're living in today, but as many career fairs you can go to and meet as many people as you can network with, better off you're going to be entering your career first job out of school. Uh, hi, my name is Alex Behar. I'm um, a recruiter here with City Year. Uh, we're a nonprofit organization where we hire young adults to be a mentor to the classroom and the advice that I'm also a DePaul alum. So, um, advice I have for DePaul students is to network, come to the career fairs, talk to local recruiters, so if you're a freshman, definitely make those connections. Yeah, so just to add on that, um, I'm more than happy to like take any questions based off of this reel. Um, you can follow us on Instagram at DePaul Career Center. Um, Center is spelled C-T-R. Uh, and I would highly encourage you to follow us. We're always dropping information about upcoming events as well as um, like 
this reel right here. Um, I just want to reiterate some material that was covered in the video. There is a very large variety of employers that come to the career fair. So regardless of whatever field you're in, you're likely to find um, a, a role or a company that is suited to your interests. One thing that I also want to highlight is um, I'm seeing here that we have some education people um, in this event currently, and I would like to promote uh, nonprofits like City Year that are education focused. I would also like to encourage you all to think about um, divisions within larger companies. So for example, um, Origami Risk um, also has like a media department and a promotions department as well. So even within larger companies, there might be a space for you if you're more of like a media focused, um, PR focused person. Any questions before we move on? So there are a lot of reasons, as I'm sure, why you all would like to go to the career fair. The first is to discover potential employers. Um, a lot of the time, it can be kind of overwhelming. Online job searches res results can just kind of pile up. Um, but connecting with recruiters in person in a career fair setting really allows you to see who's in the area, who's hiring, who's excited um, to hire people specifically from DePaul. You can also gain insight into hiring processes by asking questions to representatives like, what is the interview process like for your company? Um, do you have a technical interview uh, it, along with a traditional interview. Is it in person? Is it virtual? Um, as well as networking. You can meet professionals who work at organizations of interest. Um, so it's good to start building those relationships early ahead of graduation or even post-grad um, ahead of your job search. Overall, the goal is to make a positive impression and learn more about opportunities and specific organizations in a really intimate kind of like face-to-face -face personable setting. People who attend career fairs have a lot to say. Uh, here's another video. Hi everyone, my name is Janette Milano. I'm an accounting major and a sophomore here at DePaul. And my dream is to graduate from DePaul and work at a big four company. Hello, my name is Simon Shamoon. I'm a fourth year computer science student. Uh, at the career fair, I was excited to see Mercada and Greenpoint Trading. And uh, my dream job is to be a quantitative software developer. Hi, I'm Azalea Hinton. Um, I'm a marketing major. I'm a sophomore. And um, I've been looking for some marketing internships. Stuff like that. I was able to find a few. I have a lot of business cards and stuff. So. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm a first major. I'm a senior. Uh, I'm excited to see you at United Chicago. Hi, my name is Diana. I'm a secondary education in Spanish. This is my second year at the Paul. So as you can see, a variety of people attend the career fair, um, so you don't have to feel like you're the only person in your niche. Uh, and I would highly encourage you to talk to all employers, regardless of your area of interest, because you never know who knows someone. So preparing for the career fair, um, there's a couple steps that I would encourage you all to take. First of all, register for the fair in advance um, so that you can get access the full list of employers um, and you can register for the career fair at um, this URL that I'm going to drop in the chat right now. Um, there it is. And if you go to the fairs tab, you will be able to register for the career fair. Additionally, you see here. Um, you can polish your resume at the Career Center. There's a variety of ways to do this. Um, we have virtual resume workshops, two of them, and I will drop the registration links to these as well. Um, these workshops are, uh, whether you're starting from scratch or refining an existing document, this is a tool to learn how to make sure your resume effectively conveys your skills and brand to potential employers. Um, here are two links. One of them is for February 16th, so that's today actually. Um, let's see here, oh, someone else joined the waiting room. Um, one is for, okay, here's the, <laughs> okay. I'm getting my links in order. I'm juggling so many things right now. Okay. Um, this is the one that's coming up next. It is on Tuesday, February 21st at 2.30. 
Um, alternatively, you can stop by in person at the career fair for a 10 minute personalized resume review in advance of the career fair. Um, these are coming up soon. I'm going to drop these links in the chat as well. You can register for all of these on handshakes. Um, we'll also be hosting a pop up location of the career closet, which offers free professional clothing to students um, and would love to encourage you all to prep for the fair with us. So check out those links in the chat. Also, I would recommend that you research the organizations you're interested in and rate them according to your interest and fit. Um, consult your network, talk to people, see if anybody you know might have interned at anyone, anyone who is attending the career fair, and create and practice your elevator pitch. So a little bit more about your elevator pitch. Uh, it's basically a short couple of sentence um, introduction of yourself and your skill sets. So for example, you might begin by saying, hello, my name is, and then say your name um, and your pronouns. And then you, you might say, um, I'm, this is my degree. This is what I'm studying. I have a background in this area or um, when researching your organization, I learned something like this. Um, and I'm curious about the growth trajectory for this specific company. I'm curious about any openings you have for internships in the summer. Um, this is basically the outline for a basic elevator pitch. I would encourage you all to develop one ahead of the career fair. And if you are having trouble, uh, you can always book an appointment with us. I'll walk you through how to do that at the end. Um, and if you have any questions about elevator pitches, please drop them in the chat. So about two slides ago, I uh, kind of mentioned the bucket method. This is a little bit of what that is. So using your research, um, you might sort the employers who will be at the career fair into three different buckets. Um, the first bucket might be employers that you most want to impress. And then you might have a bucket for employers that interest you and you wanna learn more about, and also employers that are generally unlikely to be a good fit, whether it is because of the openings that are available or the industry. For example, if you have an educational background and you're not necessarily interested in working at a software company, then that might be a company that's in group C versus something like AmeriCorps or, um, a more educational institution might be closer to bucket A or B. So when you arrive at the fair, you might plan to warm up with a couple of B employers first, go to their table, get kind of the hang of expressing yourself and asking your questions, and then move on to your A list. So this is the bucket method for attending a career fair. Um, it's also useful for any kind of networking event at large. Any questions about the bucket method? So um, because the career fair is in person, planning your look is a part of it. Um, some questions that you might want to ask yourself is, am I dressing for the job that I want? Um, does my look represent my professional persona? And most importantly, does my outfit boost my confidence? Again, if, uh, if access to professional clothing is a, a hindrance for you, um, visit the career closet in the basic needs hub that's located in the loop, and we would be more than happy to help you out um, to get you a career fair ready outfit. And the day of the fair, here's a quick checklist. Um, the first is to review your research and print your resumes. Um, if you have any questions about resumes, we have a lot of resources for you. Here are a couple that I will drop in the chat right now. Um, the first is for our career library. Um, we have a lot of resources centered around resumes and um, interviews as well. And also um, we offer async and in-person resume help with drop-in coaching. Then I would encourage you to stop by the career fair prep lounge on both days of the career fair. Um, you can also join us for a tour. Um, career fair tours will be hosted by fellow students and it's gonna be a walking tour that's led by one of our peer mentors um, so that you can get a lay of the land before you start making your rounds. We'll be next to the check-in area between three to 5 p.m. Finally, we would encourage you to check in, make a name tag um, and work the fair like the pro that you are. Um, also, we are going to be having printers available on site for your last minute printing needs. And if you need a new headshot for your LinkedIn page or your personal portfolio website, we will be offering free headshots during the fair in the Career Fair Prep Lounge. Just another reason to come to the fair. 
here's some pictures of what it looks like. Um, generally think of it kind of like a, an involvement fair for the student organizations, except for each table being a different student organization. Each table is a different employer. I'm sure you heard in the reels, but it can get pretty loud in there. Um, so if you get a little bit overstimulated sometimes, I would encourage you to take regular breaks. Like I mentioned, we also have student-led career fair tours. This is what the um, sign will look like. So look for that if you want to book a tour. And here's some more pro tips. Um, the first is be independent. After you go on the tour, um, be sure to don't be afraid to um, make your rounds in the way that you want to. Smile, make eye, eye contact, um, display genuine interest and enthusiasm, and use active listening skills, um, ask follow-up questions, um, and make sure to say thank you to each recruiter or professional who is tabling for their time. Um, ask if you can leave a resume and also ask about a business card to follow up with your new contact, as well as asking about next steps if you are connected with an opportunity. Here is the flyers for the career fair prep week. You're already in the right place. Um, and if you still haven't registered for the career fair, then you can use these QR codes below. Additionally, I would like to invite you all to join a career community. Um, you can opt into a career community to receive exclusive information about job postings, um, events, newsletters, and I will drop that link in the chat right now. We have five different career communities that serve five different industry groups. Um, the first is business entrepreneurship and consulting um, for the people in the Kelstad College of Business. This is for you. Education, nonprofit, and government. We also have healthcare and science, tech and design, and I am the specialist for media, communications, arts, and entertainment. Regardless of your chosen major, you can explore as many career communities as you want and attend as many events as you want. Um, you'll develop a great network for future opportunities and learn about a variety of career paths before, after, during um, the school year. Additionally, I would like to direct you all to the career library. Um, this is your one-stop shop if you ever have anything that you're confused about or want to get a little bit more information on regarding personal identity, branding, how to dress, working remotely, graduate school, informational interviews, networking, resumes, cover letters, all that kind of stuff. That concludes my slide deck. Um, so I am going to go back to the registration form just so that you can all take a look. Um, I would be more than happy to open up the floor to questions before we close at 1.30. I'm not sure if you mentioned this, but how many mm -hmm. resumes um, should you bring with, like printed out? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I would say come with around 15, 20. Maybe. Um, and then, like I said, we will have printers on site. So if you need to print more, we will be there for you so that you can print as many as you need. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Any other questions? Do employers hire right away? Um, if by right away, you mean instantaneously, no, because you have to fill out paperwork. Um, like for example, you need to give them your social security information and stuff like that. But a lot of people do come to the career fair and by people, I mean employers, um, specifically looking to hire relatively soon. You can ask each individual employer about their hiring timeline. Um, Maria dropped in the chat, how do we know which employers will be coming to the career fair? Once you register on Handshake, you'll gain access to a full list of employers. Um, you should have in the email that follows after you register. Also see the full list by going to the Handshake event and then clicking down to the About section. Wonderful questions. Anything else? Wonderful. If there are no further questions, like I said, I personally am always available and happy to help. Um, here is my email uh, to call.edu. Is it more about likability? Alisa, do you want to 
unmute and expand a little bit. I'm not sure what um, you mean by that. I think if I were to extrapolate on this, um, I would say that something about being in person during conversation with the employers, it is about being personable because at the end of the day, it's highly possible that you're going to become colleagues with these people, right? Um, and so it's important to um, be curious and be open to having a conversation. Um, I would hesitate to use the word likability because it presumes that you personally are not a likable person normally, and I don't think that's true. Um, I would say just make sure that you're leading with your best foot forward and really coming with an open mindset and excited because this is potentially a place where you can really kickstart your career, right? Um, so you want to make a good first impression. With employers, it is likely that they are also looking for specific qualifications and skill sets. It depends on the level of role they're hiring for. For example, if they are hiring for like an entry level internship position, they might be open to someone who doesn't have as much work experience. But if they're hiring for like a mid level software engineer, then they might be looking for someone who is, yes, of course, personable, likable, enthusiastic, but brings with them um, tangible skills. Uh, Nikita says, do we need to tailor all the resumes for different companies as per their requirements? I would say that is a very good question. Um, I would say look into different companies and what they're hiring for. For example, if you are interested in working at like a, as like a marketing assistant um, and you know what role would be interested in, then you can tailor one resume to that specific role and give that same resume to different companies as long as they're hiring for that same role. Uh, but if you look at the list of employers and you're really interested in, oh, I really want to work at this um, at, at Target um, in their marketing department, but I'm also really interested in being like a social media coordinator for this smaller software firm, then you might want to make a couple of different resumes um, just to have on hand and then speak to the employers um, to judge whether they would want one, the other, or perhaps even both. We will also be available on hand um, to make speedy edits uh, if you wanted to very quickly tailor something and print it off right there. Thank you for that question. That's very good. 